Hello everyone, welcome to Meet the Characters, Icewind Dale Corrupted edition, and uh, joining us today is Rebecca to make a miniature of Ivy. Ivy? We're making a miniature of Ivy, Rebecca? Yes, <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, let's make a miniature of Ivy. Let's do that. <laughs> subtle, real subtle, and I've been so coy. I know, I know. Well, we're using Hero Forge today, HeroForge.com, our lovely uh, miniatures partner to custom design a mini for you. So here you can see all the different things. Let's start from the top. Uh, race, species. Ivy's uh, a human, this part. She is human, yeah. Is that the sort of body human we're looking for, or do you want something a bit more off the wall? Oh. No, I reckon, um, yeah, pretty, pretty muscular. Box standard Hummer. Works. Standard Hummer is good. Great. We'll start with standard Hummer. <laughs> and we can obviously change a lot of the details on this as we go through. So this is just a starting point. But there we go. Standard Hummer. Get the ball rolling. So, head. There are many, hmm. many different faces. The softness up here tends to make the face a bit more mask, a bit more femme. Okay. So I am very comfortable uh, taking whichever one of these and seeing which way you want to place them. So any of these faces in particular leap out at you as being particularly um, Ivy? How about, how about this? I That's quite very to me. like uh, <laughs> either of the very left or the very right on the second row. So we've got this one. Ooh, cheek or mind. we've got <laughs> that one. Oh, softness... what about the one to the left of that one? This one. Yeah. Now these are very um still very soft featured. You can make them a bit harder, more of a more of a double chin there. I think she is quite soft featured. She's pretty femme featured. presenting. Okay. Yeah. Do you like that face? Do you want to start there? It's that one or the one next to it. Can I can I see I'm gonna be one. picky. That's totally fine. You're more than welcome to be picky. <laughs> uh the one yeah, the one to the left. This one. Splendid. Yeah, there we go. Now, expression's great fun. You've got lots of great sliders here. It tends to put smile up, but you don't have to. You can be a bit more shy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. Oh, you wait. Wait for... There's one literally called Arg. Look at this. Ah! I mean, if we go for Ivy's internal monologue, but... I mean, uh, this, going for she... this is Invasion of the Body Snatchers, isn't it? That's, that's what that is. That is pretty bad. <laughs> Which of these do you want to pull up? Cocky and um, cocky tends to do a sort of eyebrow smirk like that. Ooh. Confused what tends to do a sort of. Uh, Ivy's never confused. Snarl gives you a bit more bared teeth, basically. Oh no, she's too self-controlled to do that. I think we're going to be on cocky. Going to be on cocky. How far? But mildly up? cocky. Mildly cocky. Is this mildly cocky enough, or do you want to go more cocky? Uh, slightly less cocky, maybe. Slightly less cocky. More of a smile in there. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Excellent. Now, you've got human ears at the moment, and I think you are a human with human ears, so we can probably leave that unless you wanted to have goblin ears. Like, you know, you do I mean, it's tempting, but <laughs> possibly not. <laughs> now, hair. This is where it gets complex. What okay. sort of hairstyle are you thinking? If you give me some words or anything that leaps out on this list um, at you. Long and braided. Long and braided. Like a oh, main. that one. Like yes, a... that one. Exactly that one. A Dutch is... braid. Pretty much. Is that what you call it? Yes. That's a Dutch braid, that yeah. one. That's really because cool. in all the TV shows where kick-ass women fighters do awesome boxing moves with mm. their hair in their face, drive me insane. Ivy's <laughs> is pulled back. Does Ivy have any facial hair? No. Okay. Now, eyebrows. It's gone for the bog-standard plain eyebrows, but you could have really bushy ones if you want. Oh, what's the one with the scarring? Uh, there's uh, a scarring one there. Yeah, it's got to be that one. It's just too cool. You know what? Everyone chooses the scarred eyebrow. I love it. It's always the same. Now, no, no, just very now, cool. You don't have robot or alien eyes, so that makes that quite easy. <laughs> so um, milks is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, teeth, there are sort of different versions of things, but I don't think we can't see yours anyway. Nope. So yeah. yeah. Leave that one. And you don't have any horns or anything like that, so we can leave that one off. Or right. do I? <laughs> now, it's gone for a basic humanoid torso and legs. I'm presuming you don't want like uh, emaciated legs or a merfolk tail or anything like that. No, I mean, one uh, tail would be cool, but no, <laughs> not this time. It'd be hard to box with the yes, primate tail. It would be very hard to box with the primate tail, or would it? Now, height, they've put you at about sort of five, six, five, seven there, it looks like. Do you think she's uh, taller? That's 
pretty close. Let mm -hmm. me see what I said in my original character I'm description. A bit taller, six a foot. Little taller than average, like maybe five nine ish. So around there. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. Now the um, head is literally the size of your head. So it's... it's no, it's not that big a head. <laughs> uh, maybe like a third of the way along. Bigger head like that. Yeah, that's nice. Cool, big head. Um, weight, um, weight. Actually, maybe down, down, down a touch, head wise. Yeah, like perfect. Now, weight is yeah. a general body weight and distribution, so it can go all the way, like chonk, down to. So she's not chonky. She is mm. lean but very well. Hench. Weight. Uh, there's things down here for build and posture later. So do you want to keep weight quite okay. low for now, and then see how that builds yeah, up? Yeah, possibly slightly bigger than that, because you know, like body fat of... is great. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Now, posture does sort of lean. She is straight as an arrow, very upright. Like all the way up to there, like full straight back? I think so. Okay. I mean, unless you can change stance, in which case she'd be in that ready position. But well, this is really just for posture to get a sense of the character's general uh, straightness of back. And later when we do yeah, the uh, pose, we can pretty, tweak Pretty that upright. As well. Cool. Now, build is where we get some of the upper body mass. Oh, uh, even a bit broader. See what happens. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's a brick. That is a brick. That's what that is. Jeez, she is good at hitting people. Mm -hmm. So posture's high. Wait, there we go. So upper scale is um, <laughs> distribution on the top. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, do you want to keep that low for now, or do you want to build it up a bit more? Uh, keep it low, I reckon. She doesn't have a massive frame, just she's butch. Now, the muscularity um, is where we're talking, so that really brings yeah. out the butchness. So that's got a quite a thick neck, as you can see. <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah? Is there a way... Her waist now looks, like, unhealthily oh, tiny. Yeah, the, 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 the proportions here are ridiculous. The waist can go yeah. out. Do you... Um, Because <laughs> the bust is currently quite large, well, so we can bring that down a little bit if yeah. you want. Yeah. Down a bit more, maybe, even. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. Grand. Now let's get the waist up because that is terrifying. It's making me sad. Like sort of more full bodied up to this sort of area. Yeah, I like that. And she has abs now. And she now has abs. Uh, belly is literally the um, roundness of the belly, so it can round out. Or it I can... feel where it was is pretty good. It's healthy, but realistic for someone who spends all their days doing sit ups. That's true. Uh, curves does the sort of width of the. Width of the hips. No, I think she's pretty, pretty. Um, Push them down. Muscles and bone, rather muscles than muscles and bone. Very curvy. And booty is exactly what you'd expect, just because I love it. I mean, tempting as it is, I reckon that's again not muscular, <laughs> but not too um. Not too <laughs> rounded. Okay. Not too rounded. <laughs> now Ivy doesn't have wings or a tail or like turtle shells and stuff like that, so we can pop that. Oh, one. if she did though. <laughs> Let's have a look. What she look like? That's Ivy with a total shell. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. So clothes. Now, obviously, with this, you have a special. Um, you are wearing a specific kind of outfit for the Icewind <laughs> Dale, but this could also be um, Ivy, not necessarily in Icewind Dale outfit. If you want to go for something a bit more like classic look, or if you're trying to recreate some of the artwork, maybe we could try and do that as well. <laughs> you don't wear anything on your head, do you? you don't sort of. A... Nope. No. Uh, you don't have pauldrons or anything like that. Um, nope. Now, this is where it starts to get complicated. Oh, fun. <laughs> don't think that's right, but you know. Perfect. Uh, Just perfect. You, it's sort of so, a big coat, isn't it? He does have a big coat, um, but mm. baggy. Everything is very flexible. She's never going to not be able to swing because she's wearing tight clothing. <laughs> awesome. Maybe a bit piratical. Does a bit pi that's a bit nautical, I'll give you that. What's this? Yeah. A bardic coat? <laughs> Much too fancy. Never in a million um, years. There are cloaks later, so if we want to go for sort of the yeah. over the over shirt at the moment and add a cloak later, that's probably for the best. Okay. No. So basically something, I mean, that's very fencing, but... No, we want something big and baggy, don't we? Yeah, baggy, pretty plain. Big, baggy and plain. No, that's more armour now. Sorry, I need to go back up the top for big, baggy and plain, I think. Uh, what have we got here? <laughs> What's the one two down from that? This one? It's a yeah. bathrobe. No, okay. I just saw <laughs> loose. Not maybe not a bathrobe. 
Uh, hang on, hang on, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's a bit too ostentatious, isn't it? A little bit. Hang on. I mean, this is a gi. I mean, it's, it's a monk's outfit, so it has that kind of loose... I mean, that wing. would explain why I went, yes, that. But maybe slightly on the nose. Yeah. But it's best. Oh, what's a trench coat? It's a trench coat with nothing underneath it. Never, <laughs> <laughs> now. I mean, that's a look, isn't it? What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> Not, I'm trying to blend in. I mean, we could go for something more doublety, something more... Yeah, that's pretty boss. It's quite oh, what, what's the one uh, diagonally to the right of that on top? This one? Yeah. Oh, is that armour? That is armour. Nah. Something a bit more swashbuckly? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is perfect. And we can yes, put a sort of. Right. Co- we can't put a coat over that. I, think. I don't know how to mm-hmm. put something over the top of it. I need to have that functionality. But um, we could start well, there she... and be able to yeah, cloak on. Ivy by the fire works well. <laughs> we can always come back. No, no need to stick in one place. Oh, what have I done? There we go. Now, Very gloves, you wear boxers wraps, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. So cloth wraps along those sort of lines or something a bit more... Um... Um, Hang on. See no, they're got. good, I reckon. We've got something a bit more like arm wraps here. So a bit more over the hands. Oh, yeah, they're nice. They're a bit more um, noticeable. Yeah, I thought that might work. Yeah, I like those. Right, let's get this loincloth off. Um... <laughs> but it's so great. Um, <laughs> she has baggy, again, baggy cloth trousers. <laughs> that's a bit much, isn't it? Maybe not like her room pants, but... Yeah. Be... Distressed? Bit... They're not bad. They're not bad. It's very monk on the run, isn't it? Yeah. What? She's not on the run? What are you saying? <laughs> I mean, it looks like a monk. It looks like a monk doing monk shit, so... I mean, do you want to go for the sort of patchy threadbareness of that, or do you want something a bit more clean lined? If there's possibly something slightly better taken care of, but yeah. if there's not, that's a really good no, baseline. Sure. I mean, it definitely is. It's a bit tight. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ninja. Then Ninja. We're just getting full on. Full on. What was Street Warrior Pant? Street Warrior? I don't know. Yeah, street maybe warrior. I'm, maybe oh, I'm imagining. Street yeah. Warrior. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> That's very Hunger Games. <laughs> I think it's meant to be. That's why Street Warrior. <laughs> breeches. A bit weird. Eighties pants. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go back to the slightly patchworky ones? I think they had the. I most... think so. That works. That makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Again, my word. And they're definitely the most kickable. 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 Uh, what do you wear on your feet? Uh, she's got boots. Boots like sort leather of, boots. Like sort of. I oh, know those are a bit trainery. Like sort yeah. of leather boots. Hang on, let's see what we can find. These are all a bit. <laughs> What's the one down? Cuffed leather. Yeah. It's pretty boss. Yeah. Like it's a pretty good Renaissance fair outfit. What? <laughs> That's not what I'm going for. <laughs> uh, do you want? Uh, she doesn't wear any face mask, and also these are particularly like specific. So let's leave that one. I mean, off. if she if she tips too far off one end of her personality, the skull one would be fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Shao Kahn, I think. Not fair, yeah. uh, right, gear. Hands. She doesn't really carry anything in her hands, does she? No. No. No, she is. The wraps are her thing. Any sort of like things on the belt or waist, like a pouch or sack or something? I mean, she's all about, it's very boring, but she's all about the balance and yeah, being sure. unencumbered. I don't really know that she carries much. She does have some darts. Oh, um, darts. We try and find like that. That's where it's space age, but scrolls. There's a hip quiver. That's a bit much. Yeah. A bit much. Got something smaller. No, not really. It's a cassette player. <laughs> yeah, they're all a bit big, the yeah. hip quivers. So I think that might really draw the eye and also unweight. Yeah. I mean, just assume she has them in her pocket, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, just to get us a sense of it. Now, here's where we get yeah. into the back stuff, because you were looking at some kind of cape yeah. cloak. It's quite cool. That is very cool, and wouldn't get around your feet. And if you want something that definitely goes around, you can get a short a capelet. A capelet! No, that is horrible. Oh, I like <laughs> a capelet. Oh, a tattered cape. Oh, I feel that's Ivy in, like, four weeks' time. <laughs> Do you want to go back to the sort of fur-lined one to get that sort of snow effect in again? Yeah, that's nice. Otherwise, she's really not dressed for the weather at all, is she? I mean, she's not. 
<laughs> die of exposure in no time at all. But yeah. Oh, uh, she's got uh, metabolism. It keeps her warm. It's fine. Yeah, monk shit. <laughs> no back items. You don't wear glasses or a mouth cover. Yeah. Doesn't wear any rings, does she? No, she doesn't. No. Okay. Very cool. plain. A bard would be much more fun to be doing this with. <laughs> now comes the scary bit. Poses. Now, there are some some standard ones we can go through and see if anything particular leaps out at us, okay. and then we can start tweaking them from there. So I'm just going to start running through these and tell me if one really speaks mm -hmm. to you. So in my head, it's a kind of boxes ready pose. Ah, well, I think there is one of those. Hang on, here we go. A very choose your weapon pose. Come on. Oh, that's that is more um, in your face than I was imagining. Oh. But that is pretty, no, that's pretty boss. There's a couple of boxer ones. I'm pretty sure there's a boxer one. I've seen one with a boxer one. Is that a boxer one? No, not really. Here it is. Here it is. Boom. Yes, that is exactly the pose I had in my head. Boom. But I do quite like the in-your-face one. Can I have another look at it? Of course. Where is it? There it is. Come on. <laughs> I can also, because I've, I've done this a few times, I can turn the hands into fists if you want to. Yes, please. So hang on. Yeah, I've got hand poses here, so we could turn that into... Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that, that is perfect. I love it. Got time for that. Nice. That is the perfect between now, the quite static and then the... Um, we can do some tweaks on the pose to turn the head a little bit. Can... Oh, I like the slightly down. I mean, you do want your chin tucked in. That one? Yeah, that's nice just there. That's cool as well. Gosh, she looks really cool. She's so cool. So tilt the head a little bit if we want as well. Anyway, we could spend hours on this, but um, generally speaking, that works. Does that work for you? I like that yeah. a lot. Yeah. I'm very happy. Now, here comes the tricky bit. Okay. Color. I mean, obviously, she's in bright orange because, yeah. you know, it's yeah. all about the attention. Um, do you have a particular, um, it, does it, it does it as a species here, do you have a particular skin tone in mind? I mean, for the sake of argument, mine-ish. Well, um, yours-ish is that sort of thing, isn't it? Or more that sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's that's bright. Uh, what is that? The far left one. That's the far oh, left. Oh, that one. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know that's darker. Let's start there. Also, we can tweak all of these. It's just to get the ball rolling, yeah, and then yeah. the game gives you uh, so the game the uh, gives you sort of a thematic design setup just to get the ball rolling on what you might want, okay. and then we can tweak all of these details after the fact Amazing. just to get the ball rolling. So theme-wise, that's pretty close, actually, like dark greens and greys and browns. That's very nice. Fantastic. Now, the easiest way for us to do this at this point, because there's so many different colours to choose from and so many different ways to do it, what Ooh. on this... Are you... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, where, start me off anywhere you like. Is there anywhere in particular where you go, I'd like a bit more something like that, a bit more something like that? What colour tweaks oh, are you Oh, shirt. Yep. Yeah. Would be great if it could be a dark green. A dark green. Hang on, let's see what we got. So we've got cools. Is there a darker green? No. Ah. Uh, no. Let's see what we can. Hang on. Zoom out again. I think that's sort of the. Oh, hang on. Walnut like that. What's the one to the left of it? Is that quite fluorescent? It's quite bright. Yeah, that's good. You want that? Yeah, I like cool. it. Pop that in. Do you want that? I mean, that's currently because it looks like it's sort of like an undershirt. We could do the arms in that as well. Yeah. Let's try. There we go. So now it's nice. more like it's a shirt and not sort of multiple. I like ones. that. Yeah. Cool. Where else do you want to leap in? Things like uh, eye colour or hair colour or. Uh, while we're on clothes, mm -hmm. trousers are kind of dark grey instead of a dark brown. Maybe the second one on the left on the bottom row. That's black. Yeah, nice. Great. Cool. Um, and then hair is much darker. Mm -hmm. Hang on, there's all the hair choices up here. Oh, my word, so many. That's sort of a charcoal black. Uh -huh. Or we could go for more of a, uh, tr it's called a truffle black here. That's more. Yeah, black. I like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what else? Do you want the wraps? The wraps are currently black. Do you want them black or do you want them white? Uh, is there brown? Brown option. Uh, wood, plastic, paint, metal, bone, skin, plant, stone, leather. I oh, hear it is leather. Ha ha. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's lighter, nice. 
mitre. Mm. And then all the cuffs that are sort of cream, could yeah. they be much darker, a black or a grey or something? Yeah, of course. So look at some cloth colours. Given that she likes running around in the dark, having really bright white bits might be a bit much. <laughs> well, let's go for the same as the... No, where's the trousers? That's the trousers. Let's go for the same with the trousers and see if we can... Is that too much? Uh, no, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. Let's do those bits and that bit. Get all the whites out. Uh, on the boots, do you want the cuffs to have that colour, or do you want the coat? Boots yeah, to... I think so. so keep the keep the white. Maybe a black boots. on the cuffs. A black, so more of go from this. That's black. Should we go for a slightly different colour hue? Try and get. Could do. How does that look to you? Yeah, yeah, that works. Do do do. Love. And then, is there a way of changing the colour of the fur? Of course. What colour do you want on the fur? Uh, what do you think? Darker? Maybe a dark brown? Okay. Some grizzly bear somewhere? Like that, that, that. Still got the highlights, but it's got a sort of darker grey quality. Yeah, that works. Or we could try yeah. for something even more sort of... Oh, we got sort of brownie. That's quite virulent, isn't it? That's quite orange. Yeah. I was thinking bone colours might go quite well for the darkness. Ooh. Because that's, yeah. that's the one I've used there. Uh, what's the one in the very middle of the long top row? That. What do you think? That one or the other bone? That one matches the wraps quite nicely. And again, it keeps that sort of nothing bright, nothing stand out, nothing to yeah. like, draw focus or attention. Don't look at me while mm. I kill you. <laughs> Uh, the only one, the last one I want to check is eye colour. Do you have any particular preference on eye colour? Because currently it's sort of an icy blue. They're very, yeah, they are very blue. I do, reckon do. they aren't quite that colour. Is there a sort of grey green? There's, there's, there's grey. Or what have we got? That's green. That's a green card over there. One more of a sort of a dilated green. Ooh, it's a heterochroma. I mean, oh, that's nice. I like that. She looks more awake all of a sudden. <laughs> right. Well, unless you have any other things you want to tweak, there She's is amazing. Ivy. <laughs> Ivy. Cool. What do you think? Anything else you want to tweak on that? We can go back and look at poses and things like that if you want to. No, I love her. I think she's amazing. Awesome. Well, there we go. Rebecca, there is Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Awesome. So that's Ivy for us. And uh, we'll be uh, getting some minis from Hero Forge and using them in Icewind Dale Corrupted over the course of the uh, rest of the show. Uh, Rebecca, thank you so much for doing this with us. And uh, do head to HeroForge.com to check out more of their character creation things like this. And uh, do join us for Icewind Dale Corrupted, uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. GMT, British Summertime, uh, on twitch.tv slash DD or twitch.tv slash Adventures Wanted. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.